Alright everyone and welcome back to Tower of Bias 2. This time I'm going to be playing Nighttime Thicket by Magus. I don't know if I'm saying that word properly. Like, ever. Kind of bothers me. Huh. I do not remember this level at all. That must mean it's good, right? Well, either that or just forgettable, I suppose. Hmm. Also, notice how my... Uh, Fire Flower is the All-Stars version, while this one over here is the World version. <laughs> it's kind of a goofy inconsistency that probably bothers some people, but I don't particularly notice it myself, at least when I don't want to. Oh, wait! I think I remember this level now! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Choose the path to the lonely... Uh, of the lonely coin to reach the great tree. Oh, wow. Yeah, these things fireballs are even faster. Great. <laughs> because it's the super variant of the world enemies, which weren't particularly different, considering... Oh, damn, I can't go up there now? I wanted that. Well, that's okay. I still have one myself. But yeah, choose the path of the lonely coin to the great tree. That's how you get the optional star. And this is a long level, but only because it's got two stars, because you have to go on two different paths in order to collect both of those stars. And that's good. As long as both of those paths are clear, this, that's good design, because otherwise you're basically making someone explore in a level that they should really only play once. I'm gonna have to go in there, right? Yes, I will. <laughs> um, careful of where you go in this level. I think there's one particular place where the water is not actually water, and because of that you fall into a void. And that, like, displeased some people about the quality of this level. That's something I remember about it. And uh, yeah, I get a checkpoint. So I must be in the normal path right now, right? Right. Is there something here? Yes, there is. Obviously. Hmm. Go up here. I had. Okay, I can just press the switch right here, but. Is it gonna spawn enemies or something? Guess not. Well, what's the point of this then? Okay, I can go in here these to back here and okay um yeah <laughs> pipes that function in different ways that never happens so what's up here then probably a star eventually hopefully um actually no i cannot press the green switch in this area because i'm got to find it cannot go down here Green switch has not been pressed yet. Yeah, you know, I've just noticed the difference about these uh, pumpkin plants. The the redder ones are the ones that shoot fireballs, while the orange ones are just there to harass you. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the green switch? I'm gonna have to destroy a green goomba. Also, there's a pink switch and a yellow switch. Yeah, uh, it's an exploration level with an optional star. But the optional stars, it's an oh, it's. It is in its own path, so it's not so bad. Ooh, these are... These will crush you. But they're moving fairly slowly, so it's not so bad. Just be careful of... It's just a dragon coin. Uh, yeah, just be careful of when you're going between them. Even when they're, like, going apart. You might accidentally kill yourself in the process. I call that a Sonic the Hedgehog effect. Can I go down here? No. Down here? No, but I can go over here. Yeah, that's where I probably should be going. You have to press the green switch. Because it's right over here. Yep. And now I'm going to have to go into the pipe, which will lead me to somewhere else. Because that's how the world works. Right up here. Uh, oh, I'm over here. That means I'm going to go down here. And I can continue with the level. Yes. Um... Yeah, this thing's fireballs go through everything, but my fireballs, they gotta stop. Of course, that's good, because I want them to bounce in order to reach other enemies, but... You know... I can't help but notice the difference. Now I press the pink switch... Once. We gotta make sure I only press it once. And that means I can continue with the level once again. Right up over here. Do this right. 
Oh, yeah, there's a yellow switch, too. Where could it be? Um, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> that was difficult. Um, yeah, rainbow shells. How do they function, this engine? I know there's a rainbow shell that you can pick up yourself and use as a way to sort of kind of race around, but... I don't remember the controls. <laughs> there are some levels that depend on it, unfortunately. Gotta go down here? Yes, I do. I could just jump over this. That was maybe a wise idea, maybe not. Oh, yeah, th those kick it. Okay, that's, a, that's the difference. Anyway, I'm just skipping the entire underwater segment right now, just because it's faster to do it like this. And that's an elite Koopa. It's going to home in on my location in a very weird way. Well, maybe not weird, but creepy, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Okay, that's the optional star. Huh. Oh, yeah, you can have uh, actual uh, goals in this engine. But it's all about star collection in this uh, contest. Hmm. So that was the main star. Now let's see if I can find a secret star. Oh, wait. There's a lonely coin right here. And I can go inside this pipe. Okay, this must be where the secret star is. Yeah. Okay, that's not so bad of a hint. Choose the path of the lonely coin to reach the great tree. <laughs> and enemies that... Harass me. Oh, damn it. How I thought I hit it. But I, I guess since I'm underwater, my um, my priority is smaller. And that's... Is that cut off? That looks like cut off. That's probably because it is. Oh, wait. There's a mushroom down there. I kind of want it. Yeah, I want it. Sorry. <laughs> Platform. It's probably not the worth the risk anymore to get that mushroom. But I'm taking it anyway. Because it's still an extra hit. And I'm definitely going to need extra hits for this path because there's no checkpoint for it. Oh anyway, yeah, I can just go under these fishies. And then there's no water for me to use when I really could use it. Uh-huh. Um, I definitely needed that platform. Also, there was a bat right there. I definitely needed that platform. God damn it. Huh. Okay, yeah, I should not have been greedy and just stick to what power-ups I actually had. Stick with the platform. Avoid getting hit. Oh, wow, that fish is... <laughs> that fish is excited about something. Oh, what? This one's actually following me. Oh. Rude. Oh, the bat. Yeah, I forgot about the bat. Just gotta crouch. Nothing will... Oh, that will hit me. Um. Yeah, this is more intense than I expected. Huh. Okay, leave me alone, fishies. Seriously. I do not want to join your fan club. Oh, I guess it's because that one hit me, and that's why it was following me all of a sudden. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I like it when the AI of some pretty basic enemies is variable, and now I'm going to die for sure. Yeah, like, what the hell? This is way tougher than it needs to be. Like, come on. I don't know why, but this music reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Am I the only one? Seems like a remix of a some music from it. I'm not positive, but that's definitely what it reminds me of. Also, that bat almost got me once again, but I'm safe. I'm safe. Yeah, I don't know how you're not supposed to get hit at this spot right here. Or here. Jesus. Um, okay. I know someone said in a much earlier video that generators do exist in Super Mario Bros. X. Yes, those types of generators, generators do exist. But not generators of flying fish. Like when, like in one of those uh, bridge levels in the first uh, Mario Brothers. That's the type of generator I was talking about that Super Mario Brothers X does not have. 
At least I think it doesn't have it. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, not okay, sorry. <laughs> Power-ups, please. Extra hits, please. Something, please. Uh, come on. Oh, a key. Um, okay, I think I needed that. <laughs> At the very least, I can use the key as a weapon of mass destruction. What's in here? Should I go in here right now, or can I go over here? See what's over there. Damn it! No! I did not expect the key to react that way. Damn it. Well, at least I can show that I can, in fact, destroy the lotus plant with the key. Uh, it's, it's a secret I should check out right now. See if I'm wasting my time or something. Oh my goodness. No, I'm not ready. I need a power-up. Or something, really. I need you. I cannot bring the Koopa with me. Oh well. At least the lotus plant is still gone. Okay, um... Yeah. Don't know where I'm going and I really could use... Oh my goodness, those fi- <laughs> They almost got me! Jesus Christ, how is it that they jump so high? Is that just a dragon coin up there? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. My name is Apollo Justice, as I'm fine. Um, my name is Athena Sykes, as I'm fine. My name is Phoenix Wright, and I'm fine! Oh, Jesus. You know, it's possible for these things not to spawn, right? <laughs> I don't think that was the proper path. I think I'm actually supposed to go through the locked door. But I had no extra hits, so... Uh. Give me the key, and I will use it right away. Because we're going through here. Oh my goodness, a f super fast boo. That's definitely what I needed. Oh my goodness, there's plenty of super fast boos. Oh god damn it, god damn it. Where the, how the hell am I supposed to go over there with that boo in the way? That's right, I can't. That's what I wanted. Okay, just stay away myself properly and lose the Goomba that I really wanted to use as a weapon of mass destruction, but that's okay. Uh, grinder is going to be positioned properly like this. And now I just got to spin jump on it. And a moon? Are you kidding me? I went through all of that just to get a moon. <laughs> if I want lives, I can just go to Lava Hole and do the life farm. And then get the hell out. Ugh. <sighs> Still want to keep my power up. Guess I didn't want enough. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is a bonus area, but it is so not worth it. It is so not worth it. Now these freaking fish that jump super high. <sighs> See, they jump super high. Okay, this again. It's not a very comfortable jump, but I can make it. And another mushroom. Okay, I feel more comfortable now. And I'll feel comfortable as long as I don't lose my power up right away. Hopefully that won't happen. Go under, go under. Okay, 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 okay. I'm fine, I'm fine, but the level is not nearly over just yet. I oh, god damn it. My hitbox is bigger than normal! Oh, Jesus. Oh, seriously, come on! I need that. I need to kill you. You all jump when you're at the edge. Yes, you do. Oh my goodness, I... Either I hop off of the ninja or... I think, actually, I think I can make that jump. Maybe. I wanna try. Okay, no. <sighs> need to time myself. Yeah. <laughs> more, please, thanks. Definitely need more. Oh, cool, thanks. You're very generous. I'm definitely gonna need lots of extra hits. 
When a grinder doesn't spawn, simply go through a vase and come back. Yeah, this level has reset vase because there's a limit of how many uh, grinders MS SMBX is going to display, at least in this old engine. And in pretty much every engine, really. Well, I suppose maybe not Mario Maker, but because Mario Maker is supposed to always render the grinders, but even still, I won't put it past Super Mar or rather Mario Maker to not display an enemy when it needs to. Or any engine, really. Can I make this jump, please? I have to do the chip. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna show what happens when you go inside the vase. You then go back inside of it. Now, the water here is fake. Do not try to go for a dip, you will die. The person who made these helpful vases, they, they did not anticipate some people would actually try to take a dip. That's why there's no water there, no actual water. Like the graphic is there, but the actual water effect is not. It's if you know how Super Mario Bros. X works, you'll you'll see that in the editor you actually have to mark where water really is. Um, how am I supposed to go through this? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, like this. Okay. Anyway, it was a little confusing. To ugh, come on. Yes. Don't want to lose any more power-ups. It's very important. Uh, what? Okay. Um, maybe there's supposed to be another one. I'm not sure. Actually, no. I think, yeah, you gain moment. You you gain vertical distance when you gain momentum. Yeah, that that makes sense, right? Wow. Seriously. Come on. Okay. Is that it? No, of course not. It's never it. <laughs> it is never over with you people, huh? You gotta cram in every single idea. What? A boss battle? I don't remember this! Why a boss battle here? Of all places. At least the Birdos uh, got a reskin, but this is this needed the midpoint, you know? Not the other path. At the very least, the Birdos are not very good at aiming, but come on. <sighs> oh, is this Mario and Luigi music? I think it is. Sounds very Mario and Luigi-ish. Uh, I gotta make sure not to get hit. It's this grinder right here that's the most dangerous. Okay, two hits. I gotta get rid of one at a time. That's the safest thing to do. Here we go. One down. Still got an extra hit. Ow. Yeah, that's what birdos do. And they go, ow. Come on, come on, please pick up the bomb. Damn it. The way you pick up stuff in Super Mario Bros. X is a little different than Mario Maker or World or really any other game. You can pick up stuff in Mario 3, right? I can't believe uh, can't. I never got used to it, you know? Give me the star, please. Come on. Just give me the star right now. That's the main star, or the secret star. I don't know, it's definitely the tougher star. Huh, <sighs> sorry everyone, but it's a single level video this time. That took way too much out of me. Hope you've all enjoyed this and all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.